Okay, so it's been a few hours, approximately like six or so, and this thing is still charging. So I have concerns that maybe there is something wrong with the battery. I don't know. Uh, at this point, it's no longer plugged into a power bank, but an actual charger. And it's still not turning on, but it's also still charging. I don't know what the heck's going on. But anyway, I'm going to see if I can't get... Um, one of these for sure 100% fixed because the one that has a broken screen charges just fine, but the one that has two intact screens has a charging issue. So I'm thinking I'll just swap the motherboard between these two and that should resolve that and I'll deal with the screen and the uh, charging issue on the other one later. I didn't notice this the first time around but this one is the one with the cracked screen and there's a bit of a dent in the hinge. I don't know how easily this comes out on camera, but you can see there's a crack right in the middle there too. Uh, but it looks like this thing was just crushed from right here. And surprisingly, or unsurprisingly, that killed the screen. So I do have to replace the top half of this console, unfortunately. Uh, I do have some spare parts already, but not quite in the right color. This is that purple shell that I was alluding to in the other video. The uh, top half should be good enough for salvage. I don't see any issues with it. should have all the parts and everything, uh, but the bottom half I won't be able to use because not only is it missing the battery cover, but it's broken in quite a few spots, it's warped, it's, it's not going to be pretty. But I have purple buttons, and I have top half just fine. I think I'm missing one. Oh, no, I have both shoulder buttons. Well, irrelevant, but there we have it. They're getting parts everywhere. See if I can set this aside without making a mess here. And I guess I'm going to get started on this one. I thought it charged just fine. Oh, there it goes. So first, before I uh, start digging around to swap the motherboard, I am going to try swapping out the battery. Just double check that's not it. I don't think it is, but what the hell. And if that still doesn't work, I'm probably going to take the motherboard out of my perfectly working but reshelled console and swap it in here. Just so I have that nice OEM. Come on. Nice OEM feel. So this here is an aftermarket battery. It's not fully charged, but it should be charged enough. But I got nothing. Okay. Guess let's start taking it apart. There are a shitload of screws in these things. And I always struggle. So they're always super tight. And perhaps I have the wrong screwdriver. What? Let's try this. This is a triple zero Phillips. That fits a lot better. I'm going to go ahead and apologize in advance. This is going to be a long video. Because 3DSs are not just quick. Oh, let me pop two screws off. Never works that way. 
I'd also like to try and keep the serial numbers with the boards. Uh, I'm thinking about it. And I don't recall how easy that is. I think that's all of them. Nope, one more. Be careful, once you get this bottom off, there's two itty bitty ribbon cables for the shoulder buttons. Okay, there we go. Oh, that explains why the charge port doesn't work. Oh, wait, never mind. I already knew this one was broken. Duh. I didn't realize the dock connector was broken too, though. Well, that'll be interesting to figure something out for. Ooh, there is water damage. That explains why it isn't booting. Or might explain why. That sticker's gone too. These two stickers. Sorry, I might have been out of frame. The sticker by the Card, or the SD card reader should be white with red dots. Same with this one. Mm. Okay, whatever. Enough Myron. some point I'm probably going to take apart a third one just so I can remember where all these screws go. I accidentally yanked on that. hope it didn't break anything. That's not going anywhere. Man, this goes so much smoother when you use the correct screwdriver. I wish I had the screwdriver set when I reshelled my white one the first time, or the, my purple one, whatever, the first time. Was that not plugged in all the way? Oh, okay. Still not working. Alright, this should come out. Why isn't it coming out? that that was glued down. Look at all this wonderful rust under here.
Okay. Now I don't see any major issues on the front here. I see zero signs of water damage aside from the rust on the screen itself. There's some watermarks on the back of it. Oh, I see now. There is some water damage on here, so I'm probably not going to do too much to try and fix this. I just don't think it's worth it, especially not when I have two other completely working boards. Maybe I'll give it a give it a shot at one point, but nothing anytime soon. In the meantime, let's get this one. So this is my perfectly working US 3DS. I'm going to put it in the JP shell. Hopefully the screens are good. Hopefully that was off. If not, it is now. Now, question, oh fuck, that one's all stripped. That's going to be an issue. I'll come back to that. Um, question, should I use the black buttons or should I use the uh, white ones? Oh, related thought, when, if you decide to reshell a 3DS, like if you're top half is all fucked up like it is on this one. Uh, you probably want to reshell it. Um, they're alright. They're not fantastic. I mean, it's better than using a cracked shell or a shell with physical damage, but they're... I mean, if you just want to change the color of your shell, there are better ways. Namely, just buy a 3DS in the color you want. Um, but absolutely don't use the buttons that it comes with or the rubber membranes. You are going to have a bad time, you're going to regret it, and you're going to have to take it apart again to fix it. Uh, so if you, for example, have a purple 3DS, and you buy a white shell, and your buttons don't match, yeah, you're going to have a bad time. Speaking of having a bad time, My dumbass used the wrong screwdriver the first time around. Stripped half these screws out. It also does not help that the screws in this particular 3DS are aftermarket. That one is not coming out. All right, so we've got two stubborn screws that I might have to drill out. This one might come out. Oh, okay. I'll throw that one the fuck out. And this one might be fine enough. Yeah. Right, so that's what an intact charge port is supposed to look like. Interesting to note that the uh, aftermarket shell has white bits in it, whereas the OEM one has black, like um, stylus silo. How many times can I drop this stupid thing? There we go. All right. So, I might be missing screws on this one too. It's the only 3DS I've ever taken apart. Well, I guess now it's not, but 
when I got it, it was already half disassembled. And yeah, I already see that I was missing a screw. Oh well. All right, I think that's it. That's out, that's out. Pull that off before I lose it. I don't know where that came from. And being a 3DS, there are, of course, three screen ribbons. Or, well, not screen ribbons, but ribbon cables in that upper corner. One is for the camera, one is for the screen, and one is for the speakers and 3DS slider, I believe. I suppose it's not that important. Alright, it's getting stuck on something. Oh, that's, a good st oh, that's what it's getting stuck on. Right, so I'm going to disconnect this because we probably want to bring that over. And are we feeling black buttons? Yeah, I think we're going to do black buttons. Just going to take that out of there for now. And uh, this thing comes out, you got to take off the little plastic thing first. There we go. There's already a hole cut in it. You can usually spin it off. It's pretty flexible though, so you don't have to. And this should come out the front of the shell the same way. There we go. And I'll set that aside. That little board I just popped off, that's the uh, infrared sensor. I'm not 100% sure what it's used for beyond the... Um, like pro dock controller that has an extra joystick for I think Monster Hunter. And that actually looks fine, but we're not going to use it just in case. Because this is a water damaged console. Get in there. Probably gonna have to take a break up in a second here. I imagine the camera's about to overheat. 
If it does, I'll try and pick up where I leave off. Or just about. I'll probably put the new buttons in the shell. Oops. I am planning on using the original screens. Oop, throwing my tool. Here's the old one, here's the new one. Before I get this swapped in, yeah, I think I'll use the original screen. It is surprisingly in better shape, despite not being new. Probably should use. Oh, gotta take these out. Or no, I, I suppose it doesn't matter. The membranes I'm putting in are from an original console as well. Never mind. What I should do is take this time to clean out the inside, though. That is entirely too much effort. I'd rather put it back together, decide it's dirty, and then take it apart again later. That sounds more like my style. Alright, here's the buttons. Should I leave the gray stick? Nah, I'll swap it out. easy. Just now it occurred to me that I might not be recording in 60 frames, and uh, if so, I apologize. Seeing as how my uh, phone is still going without complaint. No, oh, it's too bad. It's too bad. Sorry. <laughs> All right. This is my good board, right? Yeah. Hopefully there's nothing wrong with these screens. check this is from my old shell. Yes. Okay. So one ribbon absolutely sucks. Three ribbons, what the fuck dude. doesn't help that they're so easy to damage and such a pain in the ass to replace. Don't forget to put the uh, membrane back in. So 
not sitting flat. There's cables in the way. Now oh, there we go. Apparently the trick is to put the cable in or the membrane in first. That's seated. That's seated. Okay, sorry, I got a little bit ahead of you. I went ahead and put in that one, two, three, four, five screws, the little shorty ones, uh, but I didn't get very much further than that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and connect up all the ribbon cables, and then we're gonna try it out and see if it works. It should work, it worked before I did all this, but I have no idea if the screens and stuff that were in this case work. And there is, there are some uh, shit stains on the ribbon cables for the screens and stuff, so hopefully everything is fine. I hate these stupid little things. keeps popping up so I'm gonna put those screws in too. I think it was these two black ones. I just remembered something I forgot. Hang on. I forgot this, which I believe is just a microphone. And to be honest, I probably didn't even have to unplug it in the first place, but better safe than sorry. Everything's plugged in now, except for those two in the corner. If I had, I don't know, maybe three extra hands, this might be a little bit easier. These three ribbon cables are by far the most difficult process or difficult part of doing this and I think I might have just damaged this one. Hopefully not, but I'm not going to get my hopes up. I should have plugged that in first. That would have made way more sense.
It would also probably be easier to not do it this way. But uh, where's the fun in doing it the right way? There we go. Alright, I'm kind of putting all my eggs in the basket here. Hopefully this works and doesn't need to be taken apart again. And it shouldn't need the LNR buttons to boot. This is the uh, battery that's been charging for damn near all day. Let's see if it works. So it came on. Got a blue light. And nothing. I got a flash on the bottom screen, I think. Let's try that again. Yeah, bottom screen, which means top screen is fucked up. I don't know if it was like that before, or if it was me just now when I dented that ribbon cable. Oh, I was really hoping to not have to transfer the screen. That is not something I'm looking forward to doing right now. Try it one more time. Yeah, nothing. Oh, that's such a bummer. Okay, well, I'm not looking forward to reshelling that, so. I guess I'll start on this one then. This one's got a fucked up charge port. What do I want to do? Do I want to just swap it with that one? I think that makes the most sense. Because this one has two good screens. I didn't strip that, I was just not doing it very tightly. Seven and eight. I missed one. So there are nine Phillips screws in the uh, exterior of the shell. These are triple zero. Ten if you count that little itty bitty one in the cart slot. 
And when you flip that up, there are two ribbons. Gee, I'm getting better at this. Set that aside. And start taking this apart. Oh, I see. The charge port itself is fine. Their the solder joints are just broken. You can see how it physically moves. Bucket. I'm not going to go through all the effort of swapping the motherboard. This is that wonderful lead-free stuff, so I gotta bump up the temperature. do these as well. And that's probably good enough. Still not great. Okay, well, I guess it's a compound issue. Still swap it. So hindsight, actually, just realized this, heat might help with this, getting this stupid SD reader off. And let's see if I can do this one without fucking it up. Do you need the IR reader? I assume it should boot without it. Yeah. 
Well, okay. Don't forget the IR reader. So this one has the good screen. Try not to fuck it up. Oh, speaking of, I might just need to reseat those cables. One of them might have shifted during all the hubbub. If I can get this one working, I'll do the other one off screen. Try it out. I guess there's some adhesive on these. I don't remember this on the first one, but this is the second one I've done today that has this. The port is glued down. This thing fell out. I assume it's important. I'll try and put it back. And this motherboard is perfectly working, so it's probably going to go in the white shell. Maybe? I don't know. But it does need a new charge port. So, I'm thinking for the charge port, we'll replace it with a USB C or something. Alright move on to this one. Ah, oh, shit. This bottom goes with this shell, because this has the serial number. And not that it's a tremendously big deal, but I'd like to keep those straightened out if possible. And this one's got some liquid in it. Oh, interestingly, this one doesn't have black screws. It has uh, silver screws that aren't coming out. So, has this one been worked on? Where's my other screwdriver? There it is. Oh, so interestingly, these are different size screws. That's annoying. Alright, so I'm gonna keep taking this one apart. Hopefully there will be no surprises. But I'm gonna go ahead and pause the recording just so that this video isn't, you know, maybe try and cut down on the length a little bit. I'll be back in a few. Okay, so here goes nothing, I guess. I ended up putting the white motherboard in the shell with the broken screen. Um, I don't know. I didn't get very far. I didn't keep assembling it because that's not going to work no matter what I do anyway. And I don't want to put the effort into troubleshooting it. But I did go ahead and try and connect up the ribbons just to get a little bit, of, little bit more practice that in there. So hopefully I don't fuck this one up. Uh, but this is the good motherboard and the good shell. And, uh, well, here goes nothing, I guess. Let's see if we can't get this thing. Get you rolling. Okay.
Now I'm getting all nervous and my hands are getting all shaky. seated there we go I think that went well Get the volume lined up Touch screen connected. Pretty sure that's touch screen connector. Makes sense. It's connected to the bottom screen. I need uh, like plastic tweezers or something. I wonder if that's a, a thing. That might help. Or like plastic tipped tweezers. I'm going to do some uh, searching after this. Actually, you know what? Never mind. Even if I had them, I don't think that would protect any better from damaging these stupid cables. These things are tremendously delicate regardless of what you do. get some screws in here from my pile of screws I gotta pick from a pile and keep to it Before I get very much further, I see something I have to fix. I don't know why I'm getting so nervous. Maybe I need to take a break. Pull that shit out. Okay. Okay, um, that's connected, that's connected, that's connected, that, that, and let's do these screens. And try and handle this only by the very, very edges. This isn't working. I need two tools. Ah, oh, damn. I think it was in, and then I took my finger off. Sorry if you can't see much. And sorry I'm working in the bottom left quadrant. Ah, oh, damn. Almost had it that time. Is that it? Is that it? That is it. Lock that down. Boom. Oops, I fucked 
something up. Oh, that's gross. I should swap that out. <laughs> at least clean it out. That's everything. Cross your fingers. Oh, let's get the SD card too. Ah, wait. Haha. Forgot two things. SD card reader. Which, again, I'm pretty sure it can boot without. I think that's a passive component if nothing's plugged in. Let me put those screws in first before I forget though. That's not good. Just keep spinning and spinning. That one went in fine though. Eh, whatever. It's probably fine. And IR blaster. Alright, this is I forget which battery this is at this point. Volume's up. Doesn't matter because that battery's dead. Blinking red light. It shouldn't be, which is a little concerning, but. Try a new one. Got a blue light. It's gonna boot. Or am I shit out of luck? Still trying. Ah, 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 Hey, like them apples. I got no sound, though. Should have sound. Version 8.1 point whatever. Let me, uh, I'm just going to pull the battery. I do not have sound because it was all the way down. I had that backwards. Whoops. It's probably fine. Okay. Let's finish putting this together. See what else could possibly go wrong. Okay. I think that's it for everything in here. Bottom on. Got the left cable there. Both cables now. <sighs> Final stretch, folks, ladies, lords.
I think this is the dead battery. And yes, I am going to take this part and clean it up later. I'm not just going to leave it fucking disgusting. I just think cleaning is the uh, boring part, so I'll do that later. Holy shit. Okay. The boots. I forgot the SD card again. Boom! So, I don't... This thing does have some games on it. Hulu, YouTube. I wonder if it's actually signed in. That'd be hilarious. Um, I doubt it. This thing hasn't been online in a while. If it's on version 8.04. Um, but yeah, as you can hear, there's sound now. This thing's... Seems to be working perfectly fine. I don't know what game this is, but... That works, that works. R button doesn't seem to work, but L does. I could, I could fix that. I have enough parts on my desk. Oh, tilt sensor seems to be working. Sweet. Let's do... 3D works. That's good. Um, yeah, R doesn't work. So I'm going to have to take this apart again, but that's fine. i got to clean it. It's fucking gross. But otherwise, I think everything on this works. Let's just double check. Charge is just fine. And... That. And I can wiggle it around and it's not going anywhere. Cool. So... That is one 99% fixed 3DS. I do have to pop the bottom panel off again, but I don't have to get real deep into it, so that should be pretty easy. I'm not going to film that. I'm going to pop on some Netflix or something. And this one, I am going to try and take it apart, reseat that cable, see if I can get it going. Hopefully, all I need to do is reseat that cable, because if I have to replace this LCD, be I'm going to be very disappointed in myself. Um, not surprised, but disappointed. I do already have another perfectly working LCD in the uh, in here. So it's not the end of the world, but I prefer to not have to do that if I don't have to. Uh, if it comes to swapping the LCD out, I will go ahead and film that. But if it's just a matter of reseating it, then go ahead and assume that it worked. Um, Otherwise, I guess there will be a part three and possibly a part four of this video. Part three, next part, regardless, um, is either the 3DS if I have to replace the screen. Uh, that'll be part three. And then part four will be the PlayStation Vita. See if I can get that going. I probably need a screen for that, but I'll get it. I'll tear it apart and see what's going on. Um, but otherwise, thanks for sticking with me, guys. Folks, ladies, gentlemen, have a good night.